before the Blackfish was able to make it that 3-2 deficit. They got a huge win, 17-11 over the Sea Spray. And the Sea Spray, they're certainly not going to want a repeat of what happened there. They come into this weekend riding the momentum of a successful season. And how about Tyler Kirkby, a new single season points record. We'll talk a little bit more about that at one of the upcoming stoppages. Pretty much a full complement on both sides with both teams loaded for bear coming into the postseason. As Brian Gillis gets an opening possession, Josh Mills stumbled and fell as it comes across to the captain Watson in behind the goal. Thought about the wraparound, doesn't take it. Lurking from in behind, tries to power out in front, just put it off the side of the net as Lee Jackman able to stop that one. Lee Jackman, the starting netminder for the Sea Spray, 4-5 and five record in the regular season, 12.18 goals against and a .733 save percentage. And on this side, it's Brandon Humphrey, 6-5 and five record with a 12.21 goals against and a .765 save percentage. As Kirkby releases for the corner, eight seconds of the shot clock. Dixon will scoop it for the near side. Get 33 goals on this season. One behind the league leader in Laszlo Henning, who's also featured in this game for the red and black. As Tomek Godfriedson holding possession right around the half line. Guarded by Clay Miller, he'll whip that one into the corner. Gillis goes airborne to bring it down. As Gillis stutter steps, releases on the pick and roll as Watson will get it to Henning. Henning, couple of steps, feeds it over. Gillis, sweep shot, goes off of the post. And we nearly had our first tally of the semifinal. Here in the Arena Lacrosse League, it's one and done. Win or go home. Well, these two teams both having wonderful seasons as Bono looking up floor. Has to throw that one for distance. Connor Watson corrals it as Barnes with him. Watson takes the shot from distance, and that one gobbled up by Jackman. 13.01. Already two minutes gone by. Fast and furious pace. You'd expect nothing less. It's the two-seeded Sea Spray against the three seed in the Blackfish. James Ray made a reappearance in the league halfway through the season as Humphrey able to get down in the butterfly and stop that one. Nice little release to Vinny Ritchie down the near side wing. We talk about Tyler Kirkby's vision throughout the season. James Ray certainly no slouch in his own right. This Sea Spray, one of the most dangerous offensive teams in this league when given the opportunity. McIntyre to the near side as Roberts gets the screen play, pulls it back out with a couple of back steps, now working his way in, curls around to the outside. 12-18 left to go, turns and shoots, and that one gonna head off of the arm of the netminder. Rebound gobbled up as a loose ball heading out the other way. Connor Stroop gets it up through the middle, and he'll leave there for Cordell Primus. Remo Shinato, Gottfried Sinley, a McIntosh, Conrad Squarek, and Nick Jensen all defending right now. Kirkby far side. Doesn't pull the trigger, gives it to Tyler Ewan. Ewan through traffic, a couple of hops wide of the goal. Primus can't grab it on the loose ball. And square it. Looks ahead for Shinado, and that pass just bounces away. Lee Jackman will sweep it towards Ishikawa. The verbal cue gets him to turn around and pick it up. As they throw that one ahead, another giveaway. These teams, maybe a little bit of the playoff nerves getting to them early on as Shinado. Who can get a stable possession here as both teams trading a couple of turnovers? Steve McKinley, number 32, the veteran making the appearance in this one. Far side wing. Ryan Gillis curling up towards the point, feeds it across. Watson loads, passes back. Gillis through traffic off of Jackman. And loose ball comes to Watson. Watson loads, pass it across. Here's Gillis once again. Gillis. Curls to the outside, pick and roll, doesn't go. McKinley taken down, and a penalty coming up here as I believe he got caught upstairs. It will be a cross check, 11.02 left to go. So the Blackfish, the good pick and roll possession, earns them a little bit of time with the special teams. As they had McKinley rolling towards the front of the goal, it's gonna be Aiden Ellis. A shake of his head as he goes into the penalty box. None too pleased. As the power play for the seas break, converting it around 50% during the regular season. They'll load up up high. They'll have three righties, two lefties. McIntyre and Watson going to be on the near side of the floor. Gillis on the far side. McIntyre lets it go as Jackman able to get that first stop. 
Holds that near side, cuts the angle down. A minute 43 left to go on the power play. Gillis up to Watson, sweeps it across. They'll warm it up up high. Trying to get those defenders to collapse. Watson down low to the near side. And Henning forced to play defense here as Eli Bat throws it up towards the half line. Picked off. There's a fresh 30. Watson working his way in, feeds it across. Gillis has a late nice stop by Jackman. As Jackman. This one, Watson going to get the fresh 30 as he'll take his time with it. Watson. 80 points on the regular season. Second in the league, I believe, behind Tyler Kirkby and the impressive campaign he had. Watson waits in the middle. Back out to Gillis. Gillis finds a lane, and Jackman keeps it out again. They'll send that one across and out of play. So the sea spray survived there. 54 seconds left to go for the penalty kill. Up the center, right to Tyler Ewan. Tyler Ewan, the patented one sock, or one leg sleeve, rather. Comes back to Adam Dixon up high. James Ray and Tyler Kirkby, the other two offensive players. Still got 13 seconds left in the shot clock. Nice speed in the middle. Kirkby can't pull it back across the body as Humphrey turns it away. As Dixon keeping the toes out of the crease. They got the fresh 30. So they've got more time on the shot clock than they do left on the power play. So pretty much a successful kill here as Vinny Ritchie out now as that fourth player. About a second separating the shot clock with the penalty clock. Kirkby down low. Ray cutting gets it. Ray stopped by Humphrey. As James Ray running right down the middle. Going to be sent back to the bench. Here's the counterattack. Barnes through. Roberts takes the shot wide of the goal. And unable to find contact. Here's Ellis out of the box. That one off his noggin comes right down to Brandon Humphrey. Has him lot. Counterattacking now. Watson coming through. We're back five aside as Aiden Ellis out of the box tried to make something happen. Couldn't quite do it. Mills. Ethan Lott coming out of the corner. Nice move. Takes the shot. Jackman turns it aside. Looking up the floor, Evan Patterson finds a man. He'll just pull it back out. Coaching staff telling everybody to settle. Jordan Gabriel will take it out the near side as Tommy Robertson head off on the change. Far side, Kirkby. 98 assists on the season. Nice pick and roll play. Primus bouncing around. Loose ball. Chopped at. Comes free to the near side. Gottfriedson. He'll be crunched into the wall. And then a big hit by Square. Going to be called an illegal pick. So this... Blackfish will get possession here. Part of me, no sea spray as Conrad Squirk, the one dealing out the check. 8.08 left to go. Kirkby gets the pick from Primus. Kirkby in front. That pass actually almost was a shot that fooled. There was a lob over top of the goal. Godfriedson tried to play it off the wall to himself. Loose ball goes to Shinado. Shinado heading out the other way. Pulls up. Fake ball play there. Comes to McIntyre. They're trying to wave the wand around. McKinley has it. Now far side for Gillis. As Gillis. Lefty shooter spot comes across. McIntyre shoots around the defender. Wide of the goal. Ten seconds on the shot clock. This one going all the way down into the offensive territory. 7.32 left to go. So just a couple of seconds over where we would be if we were looking for the media timeout. The official's timeout, whichever you prefer. James Ray will start with it in the corner. So they are going to start with it a little bit closer up towards the half boards. James Ray, fresh 30, working. Tyler Ewan near side. Has a bit of a lane, pulls it back out. Here's Gabriel. Richie setting screens in the middle. Abrams watching Kirkby. Nice no-look pass. Richie stopped by Humphrey. Rebound stopped by Humphrey as well. James Ray battling for the loose ball, and he'll sweep that one out of the pile. Oh, they're going to say that one was tipped, although it looked like it was just knocked out of the pile by James Ray. Richie to Dixon. Back around to Ray. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Ray, spin move. Abrams backing him out. Here's Kirkby around to Richie. Back over to Ray. Ray takes a blast. Just missed the top corner. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Richie up high. Ray puts it off of Barnes. As that one going to be deflected out of play. We'll get a fresh possession for the sea spray when play resumes, but we get the officials timeout. So 6.48 left to go out of the reset. Tyler Ewan to whip it across to Primus. Shinato and Squarek defending on the far side as Kirkby releases to Richie. Primus takes the shot right into the arm and bread basket of Humphrey as Buono looking up the floor. 
Just relays it ahead with six and a half to go. Ethan Amlott stops up. Scoop feed for Henning. Had a bit of trouble with it. Settles it down. Here's Roberts. Back up high. Connor Watson. As Watson plays back and forth with Roberts. Couple of screen play set. Ring around the Rosie to the down low side of the right. Gillis pulls it up for seconds. Watson loads, fires, hit a body on the way through, and that one off the back side of the goal. Tried to dunk that one in over top as they weren't sure, but Roberts, they're going to give him a bit of a shove thinking that one was late. Six minutes left in the first. Still a 0-0 game, looking for our first goal of the 2024 postseason. As Ewan. Waiting for the last piece of the puzzle is Dixon. He'll make the pass back to him and head right down the middle. Here's Ewan on the near side. McIntosh showing stick as Barnes is on the near side too. Ewan tried the elevator shot and Humphrey able to swallow up the rebound and relay that one ahead to Buono. Buono down the near side wing. Sees his reinforcements come up through the bench side. As they're getting set up, Gillis going to remain to the far side. McKinley's going to go down low as McIntyre will be on the near wing. Down low and out the other side. Waiting comes back across the top of the zone for McIntyre. There's a heavy check on the roll and a goal for the Blackfish. Connor Watson took a heck of a cross check coming through the middle. But it does not matter as the Blackfish will strike first. Chase McIntyre. Opening things up here one nothing for the black and red as we'll see here's the pick and roll play and Connor Watson two hands by Clay Miller but McIntyre just able to pick that top corner 5 10 left to go and we've opened it up finally we'll see if a bunch more offense follows there's a knockdown good jump by Primus out the other way they go Gordy Phillips spinning back around to the outside Fakes the pass. Now he'll just leave it in the little pocket feed there for Kirkby. Near side Richie. McIntosh, Gottfriedson, Kellner, Squarek, and Shinado defending. Kirkby rips it through. Forced to the outside. Kirkby throws for Primus. Too high as he's taken down. It's going to be a loose ball push by Kellner as he took Primus down. They were both reaching up for that one. As Primus going to give the ball to the official, so they'll throw that one up into the air. Still the same defenders here. Ewan to Richie on the near side. Ray waiting, gets it up high. Never mind, knocked away by Shinado. As Ray, one hand on the stick, the two of them knock it together. Loose ball going to be picked up by Liam McIntosh. McIntosh feeds this one up to Ethan Mlot. 4-16 left as Mlot waits for the reinforcements. Here comes the cavalry, Roberts and Josh Mills coming off of the bench. Gillis pulling it to the outside. Here's Henning. Roberts hitting his green. Henning lets a blast go just wide of the goal. And it's going to be over and back. So the possession going to be for the sea spray right around the half boards of the far side. Still 1-0 for the Blackfish here. As we'll see exactly where they get it set up. It'll be Gabriel out with Richie, Kirkby, Nielsen, and Dixon. Dixon across the zone to Richie. Tried to pull it down low. Spins around. No lane. Gives it to Dixon around to Kirkby. Ryan Jensen defending. Kirkby, pocket pass, Nielsen trying to dunk it in. At a bit of an awkward angle as he tried to keep his toes out. Here's Barnes out the other way. As Barnes had a bit of trouble receiving the pass, so that allows the defense to get back into the play. Connor Watson, a newly minted captain this season of the Blackfish. In behind the goal. Miller comes out, flushes him to the far wing. Under three and a half to go. And a legal pick play called there as McKinley was looking to facilitate up high. So the sea spray get the possession. And it looked like something occurred in between the benches. Either a too many men call or something going on between the benches. We'll see here two minutes. It'll be an unsportsmanlike penalty to Josh Mills. So Josh Mills going away for a couple of minutes and another power play here for the Sea Spray. Or rather, they were successful on killing off the first one against them. Now the first power play they get this game. Kirkby takes the shot. He'll find it. As Kirkby takes the one hopper, it finds its way to the top corner. 
18 goals in the regular season, and he'll punch his first of the playoffs and tie the game up at one. Tyler Kirkby, usually the dish during the regular season, 98 assists. He'll take matters into his own hands there. As Kirkby gets it done on the power play, and this game is knotted up at one. Barnes up the middle, forced to the outside by the recovery there. It's Austin Robinson. Him and Barnes have had some good face-off battles all throughout the season. Brian Gillis down the far wing. Forced to the outside by Nielsen. Tried to back in, feeds it across. Henning scores! Henning will get the feed across the zone to the near side. Fantastic look there as he's able to beat Lee Jackman and the league leader in the goal scoring department from the regular season will do it again there. Nice feed across by Gillis as Henning able to go right upstairs. 2-1 now for the Blackfish. As Laszlo Henning, he'll join Chase McIntyre in the goal scoring department. As the sea spray, something to say about this here. Coming across to the near side for Gabriel. As Gabriel pulls it back up, Gottfriedson jumps the gap. Here's Kirkby. Kirkby loads, passes to the wing for Ray. Ray pulls it through, shoots over top of the defense, and that one stopped by Brandon Humphrey. Here's to Mech Gottfriedson, has Shinato up floor. Three on one brewing here, Shinato in behind Richie. Scores! Remo Shinato drives a bit of a larger wedge into this game. Counterattack goal makes it 3-1. As Gottfriedson, nice stretch feed. Shinato gets in behind and then goes airborne as he gets that one to go across the goal line. And that right there is the difference maker right now. As with both of these teams, the ability to generate offense on the counterattack has been paramount all season long. This game remains no exception. As the Blackfish looking for more on offense here. McKinley waiting up high as Gillis forced around the outside, cuts in, takes a shot, scores! The Blackfish continue to pour it on. They're finding their offensive momentum that they found on last week's Sunday. As Brian Gillis ripples the twine from high up in the zone. Now four to one as the Blackfish look to bury the sea spray early. Under two minutes to go here in the first, and the Blackfish have carved out a three-goal lead for themselves. Here's Barnes, pivoting back around towards the wall. Connor Stroop and company, heavy check against the boards. Barnes lost control of the ball, loose ball picked up, popped out of the stick of Stroop, right around the penalty box boards as they come together for this one. Conrad Squarek lurking just outside the pile. Miller's gonna come away with it. He'll send this one ahead to Adam Dixon. Dixon has one man to beat in Jensen. He'll come across as Connor Stroop just holds onto it. Tyler Ewan, Kellner watching. Abrams, Bono, Jensen, and Squarek. Here's Kirkby. Phillips in the middle. Pick and roll pass. Phillips scores! As Phillips able to get that one down low into the near corner. Cuts the lead to two off a nice little pick and roll play. As Gordy Phillips, the playoff MVP from the inaugural Arena Lacrosse League Championships. He's a known postseason performer. Gets it done again there. Nice little pick and roll play. Releases into a spot where he's got some room. Abrams forced to try and jump up to cut him off. He'll be able to get it to go down low around the defense. As Cordell Prime is trying to come out of the pile with this one, held up by McIntosh as this ball Knocked away, Shinato will get it out of the pile. Leaves it across as Ethan Mlott feeds it down the wing. Under a minute to go, the final minute here of the first. McIntyre 
The opening goal score for the Blackfish this afternoon. Curling towards the center, feeds it across. Mills back over, popped out of the stick of McIntyre. Loose ball, Primus pushing him out of the offensive zone. Mills behind the back shot. He'll score! Mills getting fancy to restore the three-goal lead. Gets that one from an interesting angle as McIntyre feeds it back to him in front. And he'll be able to beat Jackman to make it 5-2. As the most heartbreaking goals come in the first minute and the last minute. This one will be the latter as Josh Mills able to get it to go. McIntyre, Mills, Gillis, Henning, and Shinado. Five different goal scorers here in the first 15 for the Blackfish. And their offense is rolling early. Sea spray as Evan Pattison comes up the middle. He'll dish across to Gabriel. James Ray. Lee Jackman making his way to the bench. Here comes the extra attacker. About a second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Tyler Ewan joining the fray. Kirkby up to Ewan. Now Gabriel. Ewan and Kirkby go back and forth in the middle. James Ray trying to go between the legs. Loose ball, three seconds. And they'll be unable to get the shot to go. It's a shot clock reset as Kirkby's going to go back and play a little field lacrosse goalie. Conrad Square tries the shot from distance, but two sticks in the way means that that one is not going to get through as Tyler. But for the sea spray, they were the champions of the inaugural season for a reason, and they've got guys that have been there since day one. Kirkby, Dixon, Patterson, Bat, Phillips, Connor Stroop, their captain. They've got lots of guys that have been to the mountaintop and want to get back there in a hurry. As Watson will feed it to McIntyre. Here we go with the second quarter. McIntyre over to Josh Mills. As Mills high step into the middle. Takes a shot. Jackman can't find the loose ball. Gillis can't find it either. As Stroop will pick it up and send it out the other way. Here's a couple of hops for Eli Bat. Has Lucas Nielsen in the middle. Bat coming in. Takes a shot. Just wide of the goal on the near side. As that one heads out of play. 14-18. Already those 42 seconds going by. And if you think you can keep your eyes closed for even a millisecond, good luck. You'll miss all of the action here in the ALL West. McIntyre playing with Henning on that far side. Henning finds some room, and Jackman finds the ball. Jackman will just leave that one for Evan Patterson as McKinley and Ishikawa. Two bulls locking horns on the near side. Ishikawa will leave for Richie. Richie pivots around. Releases for Tyler Kirkby as Kirkby. Brings this one down low on the near side. Cutting up high. Sweeps it into the middle. Dixon turns. Fires as Brandon Humphrey just collapses on top of it. Dixon, a known proven scorer in this league for the last three seasons. Came away second in the league scoring as far as goals are concerned this campaign. Mills over. Henning tries to cut to the middle. The big righty. Henning finds a lane. Doesn't take the shot. Now to Mills. Feeds it across as McKinley. Never mind, it was Gillis that took the contact there. Watson through traffic off of the pad as Lee Jackman holds on once again. He'll leave it there for Robinson as Robinson will take it himself. Lee Jackman, despite giving up the five goals in the first, you never know with a goaltender like him, that might be the only ones he gives up here this afternoon. He knows what's at stake. The winner here has a date with the winner of our other semifinal later this afternoon. One and done, winner go home. Here's a counterattack. Ryan Jensen out the other way and running. Nielsen trying to cut him down. Jensen scores! And Ryan Jensen is fired up for that one. Breakaway goal off of the defensive turnover. And Ryan Jensen finds goal number six for the Blackfish. As Jensen getting it done the old fashioned way. Had a little bit of time and space. Nielsen was working hard to try and cut him down. And Jensen will get it away before Nielsen can cut him off. 6-2 now. As the Blackfish looking to find their first berth in the Arena Lacrosse League West Championships in franchise history. Ray cutting hard in towards the goal. Tried to pull it back in front. It just went wide. 
Loose ball bouncing around, scooped up by Godfriedson. Numbers again for the sea spray. Godfriedson passes. Shinado near side, forced to the outside. Good defense there. In front, and they'll call it a goal. Roberts gets it to go on the far side. As the official in position on the near side, that one rattling around just inside the post. It was a hard angle to see from up here in the perch. We'll see it again on the replay here. As that Jensen's previous goal here. Gets that one to go. And then the most recent one again being scored by Roberts. As we head out the other way, Humphrey able to handle that one from distance. As Conrad Squarex scoops it up and here. Seven to two now as Roberts adds a tally to the pile and it's a five goal lead for the Blackfish. Roberts thought about looking towards the goal and Heard had other ideas near side McKinley sees a lane he'll take forced to the outside by Robinson in the middle McIntyre just missed the far post nice cut play and they rewarded him for getting open just unable to finish back across tight quarters there here's Adam Dixon in the offensive zone 1133 left to go as Dixon tries to feed that one through Pulls it back across, loads, fires, it gets through! Tyler Kirkby, his second of the game. Tyler Kirkby takes a chunk out of the lead there as he'll find his second of the afternoon. Right positioning as he gets just up on top of the pile and gets it through James Ray with that little screen in front and goes through the five hole of Humphrey. So Kirkby finds one. Again on the other side, it's Jordan Roberts. Well, Ryan Jensen adding to the tally. So still, the only multi-goal scorer in this game being Tyler Kirkby, but the Seas Bear are going to need to find offense in a hurry here. James Ray pulls it to the outside. James Ray holds, passes, Primus taken down, feeds it across. Gabriel on the give and go. Richie cuts through, takes the shot off of the pads. Loose ball picked up by Gottfriedson. Nice stretch feed for Shinado. Ellis trying to cut him off. Shinado cutting in, cuts across the body, shoots, and stopped by Jackman. Lee Jackman falls down on top of the loose ball. And he's able to keep things a 7-3 game as the Blackfish. They have been dangerous on the counterattack this afternoon, to say the least. As the ball heads into the offensive floor once again, Dixon loading up on the near side point, feeds it down low, gets it back. Ray rips it through, takes it in the middle, stopped by Humphrey. And the loose ball to the right side boards. Jensen will scoop it up, and he sees an opportunity to attack. As they feed it ahead, Laszlo heading out of the bench, and that one goes off of the crossbar. As Lee Jackman gets a piece of it, Connor Stroop had that one knocked away, tries to bump through on Henning. Round to the near side. Final change is being made there as they finally send the last sea spray back to the offensive gate. Again, here in the second quarter, they got those longer changes to be worried about. Ethan Mlot. Mlot takes fires from distance. That one stopped by Jackman. He'll pull it out of the crease. And Ishikawa putting the man in a headlock on the near side. As Ishikawa, his helmet taken off on the near wing. Some frustration boiling over there. It was, who was he tied up with? It looked like Ethan Lotz. We'll see who's going to go where. As again, Ishikawa had the man tied up in a headlock there as Ethan Lotz. He's got two minutes. Ishikawa's heading across to the bench, and we'll see if he is going to end up getting anything from that. Ishikawa's helmet got taken off, and then we saw he had Ethan Mlot in a headlock, and it looks like he's going to get away scot-free. Interesting decision by the officials there. I mean, we've seen a lot of physicality in this league, but you'd think if a guy gets put into a front... A front face lock. He's going to be going to the penalty box. All right, Kirkby around the outside. Richie up to Ewan. 
He'll come to the near side for Tyler Ewan, goes across. Ewan rips it wide of the goal. Loose ball coming up to Kirkby, finds it, pulls it down to the earth. Down low, Dixon coming across and lands on Humphrey. And they should wave that one off, they will, as Dixon was in the crease. Dixon fell on top of the back leg of Humphrey. Humphrey will be all right. As that one taken away, and there's a hold. Here comes an equalizer. As the Blackfish were down, it'll be four on four as they'll bring out the extra attacker to even things up five aside here. Still 12 on the shot clock. Net is empty for the Blackfish. Josh Mills feeds it back through. Watson takes a shot off the post. Gets it himself. They get the fresh 30 to work with here, and if they can kill off some more time, they'll get more power play time coming out the backside. Gillis was able to spin inside on Eli Bat. He'll still set up right in the middle. Still 16 seconds. They're telling Watson to kill as much time as he can. 8.40 left to go in the frame. 50 seconds left to go in the power play. Seven on the shot clock. Gillis. McKinley. Spins. Tried to feed it back across to Watson. Has a bit of a lane. Takes the shot as it goes off of the netminder. And it's going to be the holding call. So 41 seconds. Of four on four coming here as Austin Robinson is going to be heading to the box. So 41 seconds, four on four, and then a minute 19 of power play time for the Blackfish to try and restore their five goal lead. As we saw the angle on that hold. But we get four on four as McKinley stepped back out of the bench. Here's Mills on the near side. Mills tried the pick and roll play. A couple of wide steps. Back around to the other side. Going to be called going through the crease as Connor Stroop chops the ball away from Henning. As Stroop will feed it back up to Phillips and up the near side. In and out of the stick as Eli Battle wait for reinforcements. 8.08 left to go. Eli Bat leaves it for Tyler Kirkby. Being joined by Dixon, Ewan, and Richie. Kirkby over to Richie, has a lane, shoots, and that'll be a stop for Brandon Humphrey. Back up high once again is Kirkby looking over his shoulder, knows that Ethan Mlot is coming out of the box. Mlot, he'll head into the offensive zone. Never mind, he's just going to wait there patiently as they'll send one man out of the offensive area to get a defender back to watch him lot at the opposite attacking line. Tyler Kirkby, five seconds left. Takes the jump shot from distance. Brandon Humphrey going to come out of the cage and pick that one up. As now the defense coming out. Ryan Hurd, Tommy Robertson, Coley Shikawa, and Evan Patterson. 7.14 left to go. Coming up at a nearby stoppage. Going to be the official's timeout. Watson gives to McIntyre and sets the back screen. Coming across, nearly knocked away by Robertson. Ethan Mlot. Mlot goes up high to McIntyre behind the back feed. Watson stopped by Jackman, and he'll lunge forward on top of the loose ball. As well, Gordy Phillips, the other goal scorer for the sea spray. Still very much within shouting distance here, down by four. As Mlot back up to Gillis. Again, they still got 20 seconds on the power play here. Back screen cuts through the middle. Here's Ethan Mlot, popped out of the stick, kept the loose ball alive though. 15 on the shot clock. Gillis to Watson, finds the lane as he takes, stopped by Jackman. Loose ball thrown away by Stroop, can't get it across the timeline, so 30 seconds. As Robinson comes out of the box, he'll go right back into the fray. Here's Watson right in front, diving across, and it's waved off as he stepped inside, trying to leap off from the near side. As Connor Stroop up through the middle, feeds that one into the offensive zone as he'll head off on the change. Right in the middle, James Ray takes off of the crossbar. That one coming way back out, up towards the middle as Lee Jackman will send it right back into the offensive zone so they'll have a fresh shot clock to work with. Ewan lets a blast go from distance, scooped up as Brandon Humphrey looks for the counterattack once again. The defense getting back quickly for the sea spray, so no opportunity there. Coming back across to the near side. McKinley 
as Mills spinning inside, trying to get position on Nielsen. He'll head him behind the goal. Far side, gets it to him. Mills trying to tuck it in. And they'll call it a good. As then Jackman pushing Roberts as everybody. Some words being exchanged right now between Roberts and Jackman as Mills will pull him away. Lee Jackman came out of the crease hot with a shove on Roberts as Mills was able to get that tuck to go. We'll see it again here. They found Mills in behind. He tucked it inside. It's good to go as the officials are watching it. And then Roberts, you saw that little bit of a push, very light on Lee Jackman, but Jackman none too enthused about it. So everybody's going to cool down for a second. It's 8-3 for the Blackfish. As the possession going to be staying with the Blackfish coming off of the faceoff draw. Gillis looks on the near side, has Shinado, gives him a bounce feed. 20 seconds to work with for the black and red. Shinado watched by Patterson. Kind of a man-to-man -man coverage right now for the sea spray. Back over, Shinado loads, doesn't fire. Forced to the outside by Patterson. Nice poke, knocked it away. Stick chopped out of the hands. As Patterson still battling for this one. Gillis comes away with it. As the ball will be with Gordy Phillips on the near side wing. He heads out the other way. Under five minutes to go here in the first half. Second quarter, two-thirds of the way gone. Again, Josh Mills, the most recent goal scorer. It'll be his second of the game. They found him behind the goal. There's the counter punch and turned aside by Brandon Humphrey. Back up high, loose ball kept in the offensive zone. Dixon takes the chop up high. He's going to draw a penalty. There goes Jackman to the bench. As they'll wait patiently for the extra attacker, out comes Cordell Primus. Richie and Ewan on the near side. Part of me, the far side, as it goes back to the near wing. Here's Ray over, knocked down by Squarek as he intercepts with 420 left to go here in the second quarter. So the slashing call is going to go against Trent Kellner. He caught Dixon up high with the stick. And so that'll earn the power play here. Coming up for the C spray. Tyler Kirkby with a couple of goals. He'll be quarterbacking from the center of the blue line. For the point, I should say. As Kirkby looking to get it into the middle. Nice behind the back feed by Ray coming out of the pile. Drew everybody in. Here's Kirkby back across. Richie scores! Richie whips that one home from the high slot after a nice passing play. Ends up right in his wheelhouse. Power play goal cuts the lead to four. As Tyler Ewan. Up high, and then it was bang, bang, bang. Ray Kirkby Ritchie. As Ritchie makes no mistake, they open up the defense in the middle of the zone. And Ritchie blasts it home. Four minutes left. And once again, the sea spray claw their way back within four. We'll see if they can get it a little bit closer heading into the halftime break. Again, this one for all the marbles. A spot in the finals at hand here. Gabriel looking towards the near wing as Primus takes a couple of slashes. Back up, Ray stopped by Humphrey. Kicked back out to the far wing. Here's Ray once again. Center point. Gets into the shooter spot for Kirkby. Cuts towards the goal line. All knocked free as Brandon Humphrey has it in his stick. He'll look up the middle. He finds Reese Barnes. Barnes. Near wing, Gottfriedson. Gottfriedson throws that one ahead. Gillis pulls it through. Now pulls it out. In behind the goal, Josh Mills saying, no, not me. In front and sent wide of the goals. Connor Watson at all the time of the world. And couldn't cut that one back in. As Josh Mills, what a distraction he was in behind the cage there as they left Watson open right down the middle. Not able to make them pay for it, though, as the sea spray. Now back of the offense again. Ewan guarding him is Ryan Jensen. Ewan Phillips to Richie. Richie stopped by the shoulder of Humphrey. 2.38 left to go. Here's the counterattack. Buono ahead. It's in behind Roberts. As he'll grab that one. Robinson shepherding him into the corner. Spins. Roberts 
Still holds possession. They got 18 seconds to work with. Buono in front of the goal. Roberts, a couple of spin moves. Thought to fake the pass, but it escaped his stick anyways. Near side for Josh Mills. Mills let the howitzer go. It was blocked by Phillips. Scoops up the loose ball. Gordy looking up ice. Or up floor, I should say. Still thinking about hockey right now. Too many sports going on. Stroop trying to throw it up the middle as Gabriel. Here's the pass up floor. Jensen in behind the defense. Waits. Scores! Another counterattack goal for the Blackfish is Nick Jensen. The latest to tally for the Fish. As they finally find their man in behind the defense, Nick Jensen fakes, takes, and makes no mistake. Under two minutes to go, the lead goes back up to five. As James Ray, he'll track down the loose ball, pulls it through, one hand on the stick, and Humphrey had to be careful with that one. As James Ray falling down, one hand on the stick, and he hits Squarek. A couple of fakes and shoves at one another, and that one not going to result in anything. Comes across McIntyre, unable to pick it up. Now Robertson, he'll recover. As Robertson feeds it across the zone to Patterson. We'll see if the cooler heads can prevail in this game. As you know, the temperature going to start ticking up as we get closer to the conclusion. Primus rings it off the crossbar. It is a game of inches, lacrosse is, as the Sea Spray have had probably about three go off of the crossbar here in the second quarter alone. Here's Dixon getting around the outside of Square. Whips it into the corner. Ewan knocked it down. Can he pick up the loose ball, though? As working heavily on him is Buono. Ewan will come out of the corner with it. Gets it to Richie. Loose ball had trouble with it. Knocked into the corner. Gottfriedson tied up. Now Buono gets it. Final minute here in the second. McKinley can't find that one. As now Connor Stroop with it. 45 seconds left to go. Ray falling down. Able to shoot that one. He had a bit of a stumble going on. As over and back. Going to be the call. 37.7. Humphrey. Looking towards the bench to see if he's going to come for the extra attacker play. A little bit too much time here as Roddy Jensen. I think he's just going to tell everybody to cool it off. Take it slow and take their time. They've already got the five goal lead right now. McIntyre, far wing for Watson. Trying to cut towards the middle. Feeds Ethan Amlott near his side. McKinley setting up shop at the top of the zone. Here's Watson, far wing, guarded by Ellis. Ishikawa, he'll take control. As Watson cuts to the middle, screen play, can't get the shot to go. Here's Ethan Amlott, loads, fires, stopped by Jackman. Loose ball. Going to be a timeout called by the Sea Spray. As, as soon as Jackson got that one into his stick, emphatically the bench signaling for the timeout. So 10.7 left to go in the first half. A five-goal disadvantage for the Sea Spray, as we'll see if Ian Patterson can draw up the fifth goal of the game for the Sea Spray. I would imagine they're going to take this one from their own end with the net empty. So they'll start with about 11 on the clock. They'll have to get it up the floor and go from there. Looking like Dixon, Richie, Ewan, Kirkby, and Ray. You see Dave Mather with the Seattle shirt on in the background there has been... Another sensational goalie for the Blackfish this season. Brandon Humphrey getting the call for the semis here. Tomek Godfriedson. Player in the foreground. One of the stalwart defensemen. So he is going to watch Cordell Primus. Is Primus going to start with the ball here? And this is going to be a very important possession here for Primus. He can ill afford to turn this over to Godfriedson right in front of the cage. They're going to go man-to-man -man coverage in the offensive zone. Primus gets the jump around the outside of Godfriedson. Primus right at the middle. Five seconds left. Tried to go to Kirkby on the wing. Four seconds. Kirkby gets it. Sweeps it. Primus. Low roller into the stick of Hump. I believe we've needed all three throughout our first two seasons. So we'll see if that trend continues. But first things first, we have got to see who will be punching their ticket. As right now, the Blackfish currently up by five. The Sea Spray with something to say about the offense. Down low, Gordy Phillips. Bono trying to force them to the outside, and he does. One hopper back up the Cordell Primus. 
As they get the last man to change, Ewan coming in to join the fray. Kirkby around the outside, feeds for Ewan, knocked away by McIntosh. Can't pick up the loose ball as Shinato. Trying to scoop that one away from Richie as Brandon Humphrey gets into the stick and leaves it quickly for Shinato. Out the other way as Buono sees Robinson coming. And he'll wait, feeding this one back up to him lot. O'Connor Watson, the captain, as he'll feed it back over to Gillis. Gillis for Watson once again. As Watson loads on the near side shooter spot. Cut in the angle is McIntyre. Feeds it across. Here's the shot. And that one's blocked as Mills, his blast, did not make it through. Unless I guess they'll say that one went totally wide as it went out of play and got possession for the sea spray. As Gabriel will bring it up the near side wing. Gabriel, that one relayed all the way across to Kirkby. Kirkby curling back towards the near side through traffic and wide of the goal. Picks up his own loose ball though. Gets it to Ray. Ray from distance just missed wide as well. Ball stays in. Gabriel tried to find it one handed. Here's Nick Jensen out and away. Jensen sees the man cutting it off of the bench to try and cut him off. Jensen takes from distance. He scores! Nick Jensen, his second of the game, makes it 10 4. Blackfish. As Nick Jensen talked about the importance and the danger of the counterattack, and there it goes again. Sees the man coming across to cut him off. So he says, fine, I'll take it from distance. Gets it five hole through Lee Jackman. As that right there has been the MO of the Blackfish throughout this season. And of course, through this semifinal, now they lead by six. Nielsen scoops that one across as Robinson sees the pressure coming. Trying to get it across the timeline, he does. 21 seconds were on the shot clock, so maybe he took a second too long. We'll see. As Ewan, the fake ball play comes all the way across to the far corner for Kirkby. Kirkby back up high. Richie pulls that one down across to Ewan. Ewan loads, doesn't fire, goes all the way across the top of the zone, just forced to throw it into the corner as James Ray leaves that one at the feet of Kellner. And Kellner will come up the near side for Gottfriedson. To Mech Godfriedson. Near side wall, Ethan Lott coming back up towards the half line as Gillis controls. 12 and a half left to go. Gillis will go up the far side wing, comes back up to McIntyre. Screen play set by heading up high in the zone. McIntyre, one hand of the stick, pivots around, pulls it through. Phillips forcing him to the outside. Three seconds left. As a couple of good defensive plays, they'll call it a goal. As they'll say, that one was shot before the clock went. We'll see here if we can see. I don't know if we can catch the shot clock in the background of the shot, but it's at zero when that leaves heading stick. As the officials will say, it's a good goal. The video review says otherwise. 12-14 left to go. A seven goal advantage now for the Blackfish as McIntosh scoops that one out and it heads out of play. The Sea Spray now down by seven. As Dixon feeds that one to the opposite side. The defense trying to buckle in here as Squarek unable to pick it up. Here's Buono, one hand trying to scoop at the loose ball. Finally, as Buono will send it across to Squarek. Stretch feed, Shinano in behind the defense, stopped by Jackman. As Shinano able to get the shot to go with the defense draped on him. Now we head up the other way. As Eli Bat left it for Tyler Ewan, Squarek, Jensen, Kellner, Gottfriedson, and Ryan Jensen defending here. Dixon across to Kirkby. Kirkby to Ewan, low shot goes off of Squarek's legs and Trent Kellner gets a loose ball. Kellner ahead, Ryan Jensen. Has Kellner with him, but he's just going to pull it to the outside again. The clock is definitely the friend of the Blackfish in this game now. Ethan Amlott stepping out onto the floor. They try and zone him out quickly. Escapes the pressure, gets it across to Watson. Watson loads, doesn't fire, feeds it back across him. Lott takes, stopped by Jackman, gets the loose ball. 
Here's the counterattack as Ellis will take it up through the middle. Barnes with Buono and Abrams cut him off. 10.42 left to go here. Jordan Gabriel feeds it back up towards the center. Dixon relays to Kirkby. Ray setting a screen, opens up some space. Penalty coming up here to McIntosh. Jackman heading to the bench. For the extra attacker, they'll throw him out onto the floor behind the back feed. Blocked by the defense as they'll try and scoop it up. Shot clock expires as it was blocked. 10.22 left to go. The sea spray, they've already got two power play goals in this game. This might be one of the most important of their season if they can get it to convert here. Still down by seven. Looking for their fifth of this game. Kirkby, Ewan, Ritchie, Ray, and Dixon. Ray and Dixon with Kirkby will be on the far side. Ewan and Ritchie, the two lefties on the near side. Kirkby gets free on the screenplay. Passes. Ritchie doesn't take, goes to Ewan. Around the point. Jensen and Shinato defending up high. Kirkby downloaded Dixon, guarded by Squarek. Kirkby splits the D. Back over. Ewan off the post. Loose ball goes to Ritchie. Feeds it back across to Ray. Back up high. The defense buckled under the pressure of the passing there, but Seaspray with another chance here. Ewan low just misses the top corner as that one rings off of the back wall. It'll be an over and back call as the Blackfish will get possession. They get the change as everybody comes out onto the floor. 9.38 left to go. Still a minute 15 to kill off here for the Fish. Balls in the near side wing. Chase McIntyre feeds it across to the opposite wing. Gillis spinning around on Robinson. Pivots again. Using the body to shield the ball. Trying to find himself a lane. Pivot, pivots again. Feeds it through. McIntyre turns and fires wide of the goal. Comes back out in front right to Eli Bat. Eli Bat up through center as Dixon scoops that one up. Still 45 seconds left to work with here on the power play. As Dixon sends it back up high. James Ray will come back around to Tyler Ewan. Kirkby. And Ewan going to go back and forth. Kirkby has a lane in behind the goal. Tried the tuck play. He scores! And James Ray sends home the third power play goal of the game for the Sea Spray. They're back within six with time to spare. Tyler Kirkby. The shot fake ends up being a picture-perfect pass to James Ray, and he gets it to tuck in the post before Brandon Humphrey can get there and seal the corner. James Ray started the year with the Vancouver Warriors in the National Lacrosse League. Came back to the Sea Spray partway through. And making a big difference here in the semifinal. As Ray leaves, now comes to Gabriel near side. McIntosh jumping around the screen, forces Gabriel to the outside. Ewan loads, doesn't fire. Pulls it down low, cradling, finds Gabriel, spins, puts it off of Humphrey. As Squarek tried to have it chop away from him as he comes to the near side. Running out of time to get it over the timeline. McIntosh will do so. Popped out of the stick of Gillis, but there's Roberts to help him out. There is the smothering defense, though, by Robinson. Keeps it loose. McKinley comes away with it. 14 seconds on the shot clock. McKinley looking for somebody to pass to. Finds it back at the half line. Watson. High step in his patented move there. Cuts to his right. Loads, fire, scores! Connor Watson feeling good there as he blasts one through Jackman. A dozen on the board for the Blackfish. As Connor Watson comes into the offensive zone, breaks free. You see all the time in the world. Let that one go into the top left corner. Connor Watson continuing to spread the offense as again, we still only had a couple of multi-goal scores in this game. Procedure going to be called. The Blackfish get the ball. As Reese Barnes looking to control. Picked off there. Nice play by Gordy Phillips. Where have we seen that before? As Gordy Phillips curls around. Fakes the one-handed pass, leaves it with 20 seconds on the shot clock as he heads off on the change. Kirkby over to Richie. 
Richie pulls it back up to the top of the zone. Squarek watching him. Dixon across to Gabriel. Seven seconds. Dixon behind the back. And Humphrey Reddit got the chest across. Stopped it with the logo. As here's McIntosh. Back at the half line for Ethan Amlott. Hard charging down the right wing side. Feeds it into the corner. As they look to come back up high for Gillis. Curls back up towards the point. As Josh Mills. Two goals in this one. Pivoting around, Laszlo Henning, scoop feed. Watson over, quick one-timer, and Jackman got across in time. That'll take us to the officials' time. This league carving himself out a pretty impressive campaign with the Saskatchewan rush. Dixon will leave it for Ewan on the near side, fakes the pass. Dixon gets it back from Ewan, Shinato watching him, push down. Ball comes free, Shinato trying to scoop this one up. Primus coming involved in the play in the corner as the ball scooped that. Finally picked up by Dixon as he drops the ball down to the floor. Exits the pile with 6.21 left to go. The Blackfish, they continue to apply their pressure here. Seven goal advantage. Blackfish looking for a ticket to Wednesday as Roberts waits. Stutter steps a couple of times at the blue, or at the point, feeds it. McIntyre tried to go behind the back, bounced back in front as they try the wraparound attempt, and he'll score! Ethan Amlott! The defensive miscue there ends up in the stick of Ethan Amlott, and he'll make no mistake, 13-5 for the Blackfish. As the two players there, that's going to do it for Lee Jackman as he'll head off and Keegan Melanchuk is going to join us for this contest. We'll see for how long or if it's just a reset point for Jackman as he and his defenseman there both ended up kind of both trying to scoop at that loose ball up high. It popped out of the stick of Jackman and went right to Ethan Amlott who was able to dive and tuck it in the near side. So Keegan Melanchuk New Westminster Salmon Belly coming into the game. Queens Park, the defender of. As he'll get the post set to his liking and sub into this game. Again, that does it for Lee Jackman here this afternoon, or so we'll see. Gordy Phillips, he'll score! Gordy Phillips, the patented quick strike off of the faceoff draw. We've seen that multiple times before. Again, the inaugural Arena Lacrosse League West playoff MVP from our first season. As he scoops that one up off of the faceoff draw, takes matters into his own hands and just gets it in the near side post. The Gordy Phillips, a multiple goal game in his own right. 5.42 now, left to go in the third. As Shinado taking the contact at the half line. Phillips jumping up, trying to knock this one free. Went off of the gate that was partially open and stayed in. As the sea spray will keep possession here in the offensive side. They had one man in the offensive zone. As Brian Gillis heads off on the change. Near side for Vinny Ritchie. Ritchie watched by Anthony Buono. Coming across the zone. Kirkby has Ray in front. Can't find him the ball. Kirkby. Back over to Richie. Richie takes from distance off of Humphrey's pad. He'll call out where it went to. Stick was kicked back over to Buono by Abrams. Still five aside here. Under five to go. Ewan trying to shoot around Abrams. Humphrey, loose ball. Ray stopped by Humphrey. And his defense picks up the loose ball to help him out there. What a stop by Brandon Humphrey. As Jensen into the offensive side, you can hear the bench is fired up right now on the Blackfish. You love to see that support for your netminder, leaving it all out here in the playoffs. Out of the far corner, looking for somebody to pass to. Comes across to Connor Watson. Watson waits, spins onto the backhand. Tried to feed it down below the goal line, pushed down as that one will be left for the C spray with 4.18 left to go. And Melanchuk 
Still waiting for his first opportunity at action here as ever since he's come into the game, the Sea Spray have sent, spent their time at the other end of the floor. Here's Ewan coming in, has a lane, and Humphrey shuts it down. Back around to the near side is a little slow to get up there was Ryan Jensen, delayed penalty coming here as Kirkby gets up, Gottfriedson all over him, coming across, Jensen tags him with one. As Kirkby takes the contact, as he got slashed in the face by Gottfriedson. And we'll see if he's going to pick up a second for that. There was already an initial penalty called. As Kellner and Jensen being ushered away. Tyler Kirkby again. We'll see if this is going to be a double minor assessed to Gottfriedson. There was already a penalty coming. And then there was the slash at the end of the play. As Watson going to be told to get back in line with Dixon, the officials are going to chat about it here. Not sure. Again, I wasn't looking at the monitor. I'm not sure if we have a replay of some of the fouls that had occurred there. We'll see it here. There was the initial push, but I would imagine be called the check from behind. And then the play ended up continuing and right near the end of it, we'll see. Two minutes for a cross check and then two minutes for a slash. So there will be a double minor to Gottfriedson. As right near the end of the possession, when Kirkby was trying to keep it alive at the half line, Gottfriedson caught him upstairs with the slash. So four minutes are on the board. Cross checking and slashing. Right here, this is an important power play. Kirkby feeds it over. Ewan takes the shot. Humphrey gets the save. Loose ball on the near side. Kellner sweeping it around. Stays loose. Jensen trying to dig at it as Richie comes out of the corner with a great stick check by Jensen. And over and back going to be the call. Jensen scoops it up. Has Nick Jensen with him. Fake ball play. Goes to the far wing. As they cut across, the officials Keeping tabs on this one as the players oh so close together as they change off of the floor. It's the Blackfish. Got 316 to kill off here. McIntyre is trying to back in on Connor Stroop. Forced back up high in the zone. McKinley far wing. Spins off of Robertson's check. Tried to throw it to the middle. Two seconds. In behind the goal was picked off. As Gordy Phillips will play it ahead. Evan Pattison coming down the near side wing. Evan Pattison just leaves the roller. First minute has gone by on the double minor here. They can score within the next 50 seconds. They'll keep the power play out on the floor. Ewan back over to Kirkby. Behind the back feed. Ray swings it off of the net minder. As scooped up by Shinato. He'll power down the other way. As the sea spray, their offense just been stymied in this game so far. Two fifteen left to go. Shinato forced into the near side wall by Hurd. Keeps, feeds it in the middle, in and out of the stick of Watson. Loose ball picked up by Eli Bat. As Eli Bat comes up through the middle. This one left for Vinny Ritchie. Two minutes left to go in the third. 2.06 left to go in the double minor to Gottfriedson. Ray takes the shot as that one spins, stays in. Knocked down in the middle. As Richie down on one knee, trying to scoop it and keep it alive. Barnes cutting through it, but to knock it away from Ewan. Ball stays loose. Trent Kellner zones off Richie, and he'll head out the other way. Kellner has one man to beat. He's not going to take it. As he'll settle it down to the outside. Good work, good decision with his team up big here. Josh Mills, watched by Robinson, up near the half line, feeds it to the far corner. Gillis looks off the cutter. Takes a couple of steps, trying to get around Tommy Robertson. Tommy Robertson, as he's got him wrapped up, ball stays loose, takes him down to the floor, and the shot clock violation goes. As Tommy Robertson playing shut down on the far wing. Evan Pattison, the colorful shoes on the near side, scoops that one for Richie. Still a minute 10 left to go on the power play here. Final minute of the third. Ray over to Kirkby, back up. Scooped in behind, Kirkby looking for a pass in front, and Dixon wasn't sure where that one was. 
A little bit of a chop. Humphrey looking for the touchdown pass into the stick of Mlot. Mlot with a blast. Melanchuk gets a save. Here's Jensen with a loose ball in front. Stopped by Melanchuk as well. And a delayed penalty coming here to Stroop, who crushed Jensen as he was coming up to the top of the crease on the follow through from the shot. He'll be heading to the box. How about those saves from Melanchuk, though? Comes into this game in relief of Jackman, and he's doing his best to keep his team's hopes alive here. So Stroop into the box. Scott Friedson's already in there, still for 44. We'll see here. Jensen as the big check coming across. Still had the hands on the stick. So the officials coming over. It's a five minute major to Connor Stroop. But Connor Stroop came across, levied the massive check on Jensen right after the shot was released. Still 44 seconds left to go on the penalty to Gottfried Sin. Then it'll be about 4.16 of major time. Five minute major for a cross check is the call against Connor Stroop. So he kept his hands on the stick when he came across for the big check. So a lion's share of this is all gonna go down in the fourth. A dozen seconds remaining, net is empty for the five on four power play here. Five seconds on the shot clock, two separating the shot and game clock. Back up, McIntyre. As time winds down, 1.7, one second, that is empty, and they don't shoot it in time. So here we go, 10 seconds left in the four on four before we get 4.17 of major power play time for the Blackfish. Opening possession goes to the sea spray off of the faceoff win for Gordy Phillips. And now here we go, out of the box goes Gottfried, and he's going to go right back into the defensive side. 4.10 left to go in the major. It's a cross check to Connor Stroop. He'll be watching for the penalty box. Spinning around, Cordell Primus takes the contact, feeds it in the middle. James Ray, you know, he can score from multiple angles. Two seconds left. Ray tried to cut back in front to dunk that one in before the time expired. Now he'll have to work on defense here. Back up to Jensen as Ray heads across to the change. Blackfish, 3.45 of power play time to work with. They can score twice. Patterson, Ishikawa, Robertson, and Miller defending. Here's Gillis, working it around up high with Watson. Pulls Miller out, feeds it over. Henning back to Gillis. Gillis around the defense, he scores! Power play goal for Brian Gillis. As they'll up that lead to eight. 14-6, and still one more goal they can score in the power play. The ball movement has been crisp for the Blackfish this afternoon. And Gillis finds his second of the evening, or the afternoon, depending on where you're tuning in from. So 14 minutes left. Still three and a half in the major power play time. The Blackfish looking poised right now to punch their ticket to Wednesday. Roberts, back up to McIntyre. Watson's the last man out of the offensive gate. Watson down low again to Roberts. He'll work on the far side with McIntyre. Here's Mills with McKinley on the near side. McKinley back up high. McIntyre just missed the near side post. Robinson with the jump. Shot clock expired. So Robinson gets first touch. I think they're gonna pull him out to the outside before they officially blow play in. They will. Eli Bat up high. As Dixon will feed that one back across to Richie. Into the far side corner. As Tyler Ewan pulling it back towards the middle. Sea Spray are going to have to get things done unconventionally here in the fourth if they want to come back in this game. The hole sits at eight. Primus takes the contact from Squarek, pulls it around three seconds. Can't find the shooting lane. Three on one there as they shut down all angles. Good defense by the Blackfish. Nick Jensen will scoop it up and feed it up for Josh Mills. Under 13 minutes to go. As Mills, Mlot, Roberts, 
McIntyre. Of course, Captain Connor. Mills fakes the shot, goes back to McIntyre. Watson curls around, finds him lot. Imlot back to Josh Mills and Watson keeps it going around high in the zone. They're trying to move Miller. Imlot up high. Watson shoots. Melanchuk gobbles that one up with the arm and bread basket. Left it for Evan Patterson as he'll find the stretch feed for Tommy Robertson. Robertson looked off the pass, cuts towards the middle instead. James Ray will take a one-hopper pass across to Tyler Kirkby. Still a minute 37 left to go in the major. Kirkby finding the lane. Put that one off of Humphrey's pad. Loose ball scooped up by Barnes. Throws it ahead for Buono. Numbers here. As the defense, though, gets back into place. Brian Gillis feeding it across the zone to Laszlo Heading. Henning on the give and go with Watson. Sets up, pass it up high. McIntyre can't split the D, goes to Gillis. Gillis back up, Mills. Now McIntyre behind the back feet. Watson across, Mills. Stopped by Melanchuk. There's 11.31 left to go. Melanchuk continuing to find these big saves. Under a minute to go on the major power play as the Blackfish can still allocate one more. 11.20 left to go. Gordy Phillips starting with it slowly here. The journey of a 1,000 miles begins with a single step. They're going to need a lot of steps here in this fourth quarter. Gordy Phillips around the outside. Cutting towards the goal. Phillips stopped by Humphrey. Loose ball rolled to the near side. And he'll be able to scoop it up. Conrad Squarek will take it himself. Bringing it across the timeline down the near wing. Feeds it across. 20 seconds on the power play into the far corner. Roberts has McKinley on the near side with Mills. Ethan Amlot up high, so three lefties, two righties. Mills back up, Amlot loads. That one blocked by Phillips. Loose ball goes to Robertson, bumped by Amlot. Robertson's going to cut across the zone to the near side. Out of the box went Connor Stroop. Stroop cutting in down the near wing. He'll take it himself. Humphrey gets the initial stop, and he'll track down the rebound. Numbers now for the Blackfish. Like a game of chess, they wait for their counter move. Connor Stroop, he's had five minutes in the box. He'll be raring to go here defensively. Our side, Connor Watson cradling the ball. Has Ishikawa on him, back across to Gillis. Gillis, stutter steps, takes the shot, it gets through! Patrick for Brian Gillis as he finds that one from the near side shooter spot. 15-6. As Gillis, if I remember reading the scores correctly, hit about a six or seven goal game last weekend, and he'll keep that offense rolling here in the semis. Brian Gillis, his team has desperately needed his offense in the late stages of the year, and he has come through big time. Ramo Shinato off the center. He'll take, Melanchuk gets the save, jumping up for the loose ball. It's going to be waved off as Shinato put it home, but they had called the loose ball push before he scooped it home. And honestly, I think Buono would have rather them just had given the play to carry on as Shinato came away with it in the near post. Across the zone. That one deflected at a play by Mills, so a fresh ball going to be thrown in. 9.50 left to go. Nielsen up floor. Nice stretch feed. Tried to find... The cutting Tyler Ewan. There's a touchdown feed. One hand on the stick. Cutting it behind the defense. Mills scores! Give Brandon Humphrey the assist on that one. What a feed from the netminder. And Josh Mills going to find a hat trick of his own. Brandon Humphrey. The NFL season is still a long ways away. I guess the MLB is getting underway, so he's like a center fielder with the pickoff at home plate. My goodness. As Josh Mills has been finding offense at different levels in this game. Now up by 10. Here's Primus out the other way. Puts that one over top of the goal as that one left the stick a little bit early. The Blackfish, nine and a half away from their first appearance in the ALL West Finals. 
Down the near wing, Ethan Lott throws it to the opposite side. Watson to McIntyre. Cuts towards the middle, McIntyre finds Gillis. As Gillis pulls this one back out, heavy screens being sent. Watson scores! The Blackfish continue to pour it on here in the fourth quarter. As McKinley and Stroop having words. 17 to six. Currently the score is McKinley and Stroop continue to jaw back and forth. And again, that just frustration right now. As 11 goals is the gap right now. Procedure called, Blackfish get the ball. As the Sea Spray, the last two seasons, have made it to the finals. This may be their first time in their three seasons in the ALL. They have not done so. Pickoff by Gordy Phillips. He'll start making his way down floor. Keeping Laszlo heading spinning. Phillips takes. Humphrey finds it. 8.40 left to go. Humphrey looking up floor. As that one relayed up the near side for Mills. Cutting through the middle. Watson unable to find the feed. Mills goes across. That one rings off of the crossbar. As nice shot by Ethan Umlott coming out of the offensive gate. McIntyre goes over to Watson. Watson. Off a couple of screen plays, Ellis jumps through. Tried the pick and roll play to McIntyre. Picked off though, Eli Bat heading out through center. Eli Bat stretch feed, knocked away as Kellner getting by just in the nick of time. Humphrey out to try and scoop that one up. Conrad Squarek will get it, get it ahead to Ethan Umlott. Under eight to go. Across the floor, nice stretch feed, try to duck it in front. What a goal there for Jordan Roberts. Jordan Roberts gets that one right in front. The little bunny hop just outside of the crease. And he's able to put that one over the shoulders of Melanchuk. As Roberts, look at this nice little feed in front. Little two foot jump stop and jumps off the toes to get that one over top. 18 to six now. Reese Barnes. As the coaching staff telling the Blackfish to use their time here. And at this point, this is definitely a case of build good habits for Wednesday for the Blackfish. Be solid defensively. Don't get lackadaisical. Finish this one off strong. Bill spin move. Diving. Puts it over top of the goal. Loose ball picked up by Connor Stroop. 7.20 left to go. As Stroop. Scoops that one ahead, Cordell Primus. Watched here, Shinato jumps through, shot goes through traffic, kick the side of the near wing. Primus scoops this one up, Cradles feeds across, James Ray down low, Ewan in front, Humphrey keeps that one out. Another stretch feed from Humphrey. Not quite on the money, but Ethan Umlott will take it nonetheless. Gets it back, Shinato cutting in, Shinato backhand shot, gonna be stopped. As Hurd and Shinato come together, Melanchuk looks up floor. 6.45 left to go. A couple of players come together there, coming across the floor as Gottfriedson a little worse for wear. Humphrey gobbles that one up. As Gottfriedson, he'll head off onto the bench, a little slow to get up, but he's off under his own power. Stretch feed, cutting in, heading, rings it off of the crossbar. He'll be called for going through the crease as that one went off his chest on the rebound. As Colt Ishikawa having an extended conversation there, the official Melanchuk will head back into the cage and the Sea Spray are going to have to start scoring in bunches. Never count them out until the final whistle goes. As Richie looking to get back in front, Kirkby back to Dixon. Dixon lets it go, just misses the goal and then crushes the man as will be a delayed penalty coming here. Blackfish relay it ahead. Nick Jensen in on goal. Fakes, takes, stopped by Melanchuk. As Nick Jensen taken down by Robinson, scoops up the loose ball. Brandon Humphrey making the slow jog to the bench. Back out in front. Buono a blast. Going to be held on to by Melanchuk. 5.50 left to go. As another power play going to be coming here for the Blackfish. To be a slashing call 
as Adam Dixon getting caught in the offensive zone. He'll head over to the penalty box. Two minutes in the sin bin as the Blackfish seeing if they can drive one more nail into the coffin here. Gillis to him, lot on the near wing, feeds it back across to the far corner. Roberts, Miller watching, comes back up high. McIntyre to Gillis. Gillis feeds, McIntyre fakes the behind the back feed, takes, swings, comes to the near side for Amlott. Gillis to McIntyre, back to the okay. far wing. Roberts across to Gillis. McIntyre, Amlott behind the back feed, Henning at the back post, forced out by Bat. Henning up high, 15 on the shot clock. Roller shot goes off of Melanchuk. Stroop there just in case. Melanchuk will get it in the stick and he'll leave it for the captain. Connor Stroop out the near side, throws that one as it goes off of Robertson, scooped up. Counterattack coming, three on one. Far side, Roberts puts it over top of the goal. Mlot has a loose ball, feeds it as Melanchuk watches the far post. Stroop watching Gillis in front. As Watson will come back across to him lot. 15 on the shot clock again. 4.47 left to go. Gillis move in, move in. up to Mills. Mills sweeps it over. Watson forced back up to Mills. Off the toe as Melanchuk kicks that one out. Souvenir for the fans as Josh Mills will get the fresh ball. Gillis across to the other side. They'll warm it up around the outside. Everybody getting touches here. Gillis behind the back to Mills, gets it right back. Mills looking down low for Mlot. He'll head around to behind the goal. Mlot behind the back feet, opposite side. Roberts up to Gillis. Gillis takes a shot, bobbles around him between Melanchuk's legs, and he closes up. Keeps that one in the equipment, 4.13 left. Evan Pattison, one hopper in and out of his stick. 24 on the shot clock to work with as Brandon Humphrey gets set. Primus leads this one back up high. Richie will go to the far corner for Ewan. Back in the middle, in and out of the stick of Ray. As to Mac Godfreydson, good to see him just as spry as ever. Coming out of the box, Dixon, we're back five aside. Our side, Watson had it pop out on the cradle, gets it right back. Robinson forcing Watson back. Watson will hold possession, finds Steve McKinley. Steve McKinley back across, Chase McIntyre over Ishikawa, and it gets through! That one bobbled around in the equipment of Melanchuk, and it just rolled over the line. 19-6 now for the Blackfish. As McKinley got it over to the far side, McIntyre. That one bobbled around in front of Melanchuk. He thought he had it against the pad. It actually rolled off his leg and over the line. As 326. Brandon Humphrey is going to the bench here to end off this game. And Roddy Jensen, I think they're saying they're they're saying that he's calling timeout, but he's just trying to switch his goaltender. So whether they've charged him a timeout or not remains to be seen. But Dave Mather is going to come into this game. And with the workload that Brandon Humphrey has put in today, again over 45 shots against in this game. 39 save performance. So Dave Mather comes in to replace him at the end of this game. Again, Brandon Humphrey, his work this afternoon is done. He's seen the big stage in the past. He'll have another chance to do it here with the Blackfish. As off of the draw, Nielsen gains control for the sea spray. We'll see if Dave Mather can get a couple of stops in here to finish off the game as Brandon Humphrey going to finish the game on the bench. Gabriel looking in front for Nielsen, the quick swing as he ends up stepping inside the crease. And Mather doesn't look too concerned in the crease. We'll see how he plays these last couple of minutes as Ethan Umlott 
Telling him to use the time. They still got lots left on the shot clock. Ticking down to 15. Far side, Jordan Roberts coming off of the bench. Last man in out of the gate. Mills back over to Roberts. Stutter steps back towards the middle. Takes a shot. Melanchuk stops, covers up. And he'll throw this one up floor. Finding it on the left wing for Eli Bat. As Eli Bat looks ahead. Two and a half left to go now here. 20 on the shot clock. Richie to Ewan coming in out of the gate. Ewan lets one go from distance. Mather makes good work of that one. Jensen thought about throwing the feet up the floor. Let's have to get it across the timeline. As Jensen watched by Primus in the middle. Shields him off of the ball. Feeds it across to Roberts. McKinley joining in on the action. As McKinley cuts through the center. McKinley still with the ball. Pulls it through. Has it in the forehand. Now the back end. McKinley trying to work on the near side behind the back feet. Knocked away by Ishikawa. As Hurd able to scoop it up. McKinley on the back check, forcing Hurd to watch intently. Under two minutes to go here in the game. Primus down the near side wing. Look at a range. Cuts inside. Tried to tuck it in the far post. Just missed wide. Minute 38 to go. Scoops it up. Throws this one the length of the floor. Reese Barnes. Still lots of time to kill. As the Blackfish emphatically carving their path to the championship game in this one. Far wing, Watson. Feeds it back up towards the line. As Gillis just scoops this one into the corner. James Ray looking for the touchdown feed up to Nielsen. Nielsen, screen play set, feeds it across, gets it back. Phillips just about stepped inside, pulls it back through. Phillips winding his way in, and Mather gets the save. As they'll throw this one up floor. 45 seconds left on the game clock, 20 on the shot clock. Josh Mills and Brian Gillis with hat tricks. Nick Jensen, Connor Watson, Laszlo heading all with multi-goal games. They got scoring at all levels. They did it offensively, defensively, in transition. As the final second will tick off of this game. 20 remaining on the clock. Ray coming across. Delayed penalty coming here as it's knocked away. Gottfriedson gets that one off of the defensive check. As making his way over to the box with 13.3 remaining. Is Ryan Jensen going to get tagged with the call? Going to be a slashing call. Melanchuk was making his way towards the bench. He'll stay in. Tyler Kirkby gets the final possession here for the sea spray. James Ray, he'll range from distance. Stopped by the stick of Mather. Five seconds left. Just throws that one the length of the floor. And that one a souvenir for our timekeepers as time winds down. The Blackfish, for their first time in the Arena Lacrosse League West, will head to the championship series. 19 to 6, the final score.